But uh, these are the numbers for these two. Uh, well, anything that you can see, Chris, we need to know. Height and reach. Height and reach. Uh, again, how they make the weight is vital. I believe Smyach knows what is going to do, having seen the tape. Let's see how the strategy plays out. Well, you just have to look at the athleticism of Smyic. Uh, you know, she is lean burn, uh, and she's carrying some timber on the arms. Just look at that. She's got a lot of power. She's got the height, and the musculature is just incredible. Uh, she's like an Amazonian. If she's got the height and the reach, she could do well here against a very tough opponent in Bajinska. It's scheduled for three rounds. Flyweight is the division. Our referee is, of course, Mr. Piotr Jarosz. Southpaw stands for Bachinska. Some early demonstration of the hands, but she wants to box Sarah Lazar Smyach up to the wire and close the distance. Smyach knows that and wants to fight nice and long. So rangy. Already referee having a little word. Fight! And, uh, it's an unorthodox style, isn't it, from Smyic? She looks a little ungainly, but uh, she's getting caught there with that low kick. And uh, make no mistake, Bajinska has a strategy here. That left keeps coming from Smyic, but it's perfunctory. It's not doing anything. Oh, and she gets whipped there with a right hook, flies in. And uh, Bajinska's really closing that distance, but just look at the fists come back from Smyic. Yeah, Bajinska's using leg kicks. I like that. She should kick very freely. And I like the hand fighting that we saw. Smyic has got to get that jab on target. She uses the extension, the reach, if you will, and those straight punches is vital. Beautiful. Bachinska's just catching her cold. A lot of power, though, in that right cross from Smyic. She's relying on that, but she's getting peppered all the way here. And uh, that just might not bode well for her. Over three. Nice turn on the kick there. Yeah, so anytime you have a, a southpaw versus versus orthodox stance, it, it's it's the power hand is you don't see it coming as you normally would against you know righty versus righty, southpaw versus southpaw. So this is what's happening in this one is Sarah's not catching the power hand of Bachinska. She did just gain outside foot position with the right though. It's there. I think Smyic has uh, woken up to that, and she's slipped it twice now. That's a tight right hook. That's a little Jimmy Cagney we're seeing there from Bajinska. It just whips round. I mean, it's nasty if it takes you. But yeah, coming in with those straight punches, Smyic is doing good work. Yeah, I was going to say, Bajinska's hands are so clean and, 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 and uh, just effortless. That's just, that's just like, she's like natural with her hands. There's no, there's no, uh, no pressure in there whatsoever. Yeah, it's a significant improvement over her last fights in my eyes. Because what she's trying to do with these little half steps is control slowly, slowly, slowly towards the outer regions of this cage. And that will be when the clinch work gets going. Both fighters taking good shots. Smyic threw a nice right hand there, Superman punch. But great hands we're seeing from Bajinska. This is really close and it's really high level boxing skills. Yeah, yeah she looks significantly improved. I feel like that was part of the game plan. They knew they would have to be able to stand for some time with Sarah Lazar Smyic. And so far, Bachinska is just on point. Yeah, Bachinska is reading that that kind of panting jab that Sarah's throwing out and is coming around with that lead hook really nicely, it's setting everything up with that. Nice land there from Smyic. Smyic is doing a lot of work on uh, throwing feints, keeping a moving target. But uh, she's not buying into it, Bajinska, because she gets caught there! That was a right hand there from Smyic. That did a lot of damage. She knows what works, and she's doing what she can to make that happen. She's finding the distance a little bit better there with that combination. You know, the three, four punch combinations could really open up for her. And the fact that she's leading with a jab is solid. She is sinking that right hand in at every opportunity. Well, we've got just over a minute left. Uh, she could do some real damage before the end of the round, Smyge. She seems to have got on top of this. Bajinska was a bit foxy. Caught her on the inside with, uh, to coin your phrase, Chris, dirty boxing. But she gets caught with that right hand again. And the sweat was knocked off the face of Smyge. She needs to cover up. Smyge has got to start leading again because Bajinska then gets comfortable and has a little bit more discipline, I feel like, so far. Yeah, nice kick from Smyge, but that really hasn't really done much. And I feel like that opens her up to more than she gives with that little switch kick. 
Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you don't want to leave yourself open, especially against someone like Bajinska. Listen, this is great exchange. I've seen, you know, worse, worse boxing exchanges in a boxing match. This is really, really clean work. Yeah, very nice. Uh, I, like I said, uh, Bachinska's lead hook is what's causing a lot of this damage, and, and Sarah's not picking it up. Uh, normally, you would think that she would be picking it up at least halfway through the round, because Bachinska's coming with it all the time. And Sarah's not really, uh, not, not countering it, not, not timing it right. Yeah, she's almost too focused on the head hunting and uh, not paying enough attention to the lead hand of Bachinska. That's exactly what I was going to say. Again, look at that. Smudge comes in and gets clipped with a short check hook from Bachinska. Yeah, she exposes herself when she lands Smite. She just hasn't worked it out. I'm curious about the adjustments from both corners. Do we see an evolution of the game plan for Natalia Bachinska? Do we see Smyach get a bit more intelligent with her handiwork here? I'd like to see more kicks from both. I think it's a good strategy for either. Yeah, especially on that inside leg is right there for both. Yeah, the problem for Smyach is that left hand that's doing the work of keeping away Bajinska means that that left chin is exposed. It's, uh, she needs to tighten up and, uh, I mean, this is good, good boxing from Bajinska. I mean, it really is good boxing. But uh, Smyach just a little bit too loose and rangy with her guard. But she's making headway now, and that right hand straight through the front door. That's the kind of delivery she wants to make. I feel like Smyach is starting to try to gain the respect of Bajinska here by implementing her punches and, and obviously finding the reach. But she can't throw defense or intelligence or fight IQ, if you will, out the window at the cost of trying to bully her way back into this fight. That's good, but that isn't good, right? She kind of reached with her punches, walked forward, the hands and feet didn't work together, and Bachinska just effortlessly hit her with that right. Yeah, so I'm looking at uh, Sarah's feet. So if you notice that, she, when she throws her power hand, she steps outside with her lead foot, which makes the angle of the punch come straight down the middle into your opponent's chin uh, when you step outside. And that, that's the game that you're always trying to play. You always want to get that foot on the outside, so that way your power hand and your opponent's chin is in line with each other. Yeah. I mean, uh, this is a nemesis, isn't it? This is kind of like... Uh, you know, a, a, a sort of a coming to my parlor, said the spider to the fly, because Smyic just hasn't got control of the left-hand side. She's using the jab to good effect, but uh, just so exposed from that little check hook, Chris, as you said. Still good, good boxing, and they're upping the ante now. And uh, the crowd here sensationally behind both these two fighters. And Smyic now using the ring. But, you know, I have to say, Bajinski, she's just four-wheel drive, just keeps coming forward. Smyach is starting to make Bajinska reset a little bit more often, which is good. It's a better round. It's a more even round for me at this point. That was lovely, Superman through the middle. That's the third time she's done that. I mean, she's got the power there, Smyach. I mean, if she drops Bajinski from that punch, it wouldn't surprise me. So there's the, there's the little... Uh, gray area in the defense of Bajinska. Just straight through the front door, Smyich comes. What's missing for me with Bajinska is that she's not putting combos together. If you notice, it's usually just a one punch or a one kick. It's a really nice punch and a really nice kick, but I would like to see her put together a combo. Very nice. Smyich just hit her with a right. Bajinska then came back with her own right hand. I am absolutely baffled. Where is the clinch? Bachinska usually wins and dominates at close range with that infighting. I haven't seen an ounce of it in this fight. I think the confidence in the first round and the damage that she was able to do kind of kind of helped her with this. You know, she's willing to stand more. And yeah. she's doing a really great job. I mean, it's very even round two. It is. I'm looking at Bajinska. She's looking a little battle-weary. The uh, punches of Smyich have had some effect. And I don't think she's probably used to getting hit that hard that often. Uh, Smyich on her toes and working well now, settling into this. She's probably had the best that Bajinski has on offer. She's well wary now to that uh, right hook. Both of them not going anywhere. We're on the 10 second clapper. What a round, guys. That's just, just unbelievable. It is, especially when you consider this division is wide open. Every one of these exchanges counts. It's a potential title shot, and this is a close round.
better hand fighting from Sarah Lazar Smyage too. Very nice, there we go. You see that, she was tapping the lead hand, then eventually came right over the top with the left hook. I like how Pachinska is getting that inside low kick off quite often now. What I like to see now is inside low kick, nice left hook. Yep. She needs more than just single shots. Really both do. I'd like to, oh, very good. Smyach just found that right. This might be what she needs to eke out this round. It's a very close round, but she's definitely scored some very meaningful, impactful shots, and that is gonna score. We go to three in this flyweight bout that has been full fat fight action all the way. Zara Luzar Smajic fighting red takes on Natalia Bajinska fighting blue. This has shown no indication, not even a whisper of takedown, of going to the mat, of even going up to the wire in the cage. This has just been boxing skills where punches have been thrown non-stop right from the get-go and what punches they've been we see great incredible short check right hooks from Bajinski we've seen great right crosses from Smyage it really has been a master class in the stand-up and gentleman's game what I want to look for here is there any change in the intent of either is there any adjustment it very well could be 20, uh, excuse me, 1919 at this juncture. Well, it's interesting that uh, Bajinska gave up the strategy of the low kick because she's so deep in her stance, Smyge, you could tag her very easily now. And, uh, you know, it would give her something to worry about. There's the Superman punch. I wonder how many times we've seen that. You reckon three up until now, so that would be four? Yes, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, that's incredible. And I mean, some fighters only even talk about it, dream of it, it's the holy grail. But to put four of them in one bout, that's incredible. And they've landed, that's, yeah. that's the beautiful part about <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. I'm seeing Sarah Lazar Smyach retaining her power later into this fight a little bit more, which could be a really important factor. That was nice, that was good from Bachinska, but again, like the, the low kick earlier was, I don't wanna say it was pulled, but it didn't have a lot of uh, impact behind it. So that could come down to the wire in the judges' scorecards. Well, the athleticism of both these players cannot be in play, in, in, in question at all. Uh, Natalia Bajinska has come out in this third round, revitalized and refueled, and we know the athleticism of Smyach just not in question. Although Smyach is actually starting to blow just a little bit, but uh, by the same token, Bajinska seems re-energized. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, just as I was questioning whether or not she had power still, that was a nice little combination there. And again, the super. Listen, she might be hamstrung to a bit of a tedious strategy, Smite. She needs to change it up. And, uh, you know, at this stage, someone needs to do something different. Maybe we'll see a shoot. Maybe we'll see someone go to the ground. But uh, we're seeing the same thing every round. And it's great. But uh, someone's got to get a W here. We saw the clinch a moment ago. Smite just shrugged her off. so hard to score this fight, right? <laughs> the judges are in for, uh, for a very tough, very tough decision. I yeah. agree. Yeah, right, absolutely. Still headhunting. Oh, and the Superman punch again. We got five. <laughs> well, you know, it's not enough, really. She's got to follow through, Smyage, because she's being picked off by Bajinska. I said this in the second round. This has displayed skills better than a professional boxing match. You know, I've seen two boxers go out there and uh, given a display that was equivalent to a flipping bad fight in a Glasgow pub. You know, what we're seeing here is just high level. Smyche just landed a clean right hand a moment ago, just as I say it. Good response there, nice left, right down the middle from Bachinska, just when you start to kind of tally in your head that one might be ahead of the other. This is neck and neck. This last 50 seconds could really define it. 
Wow, it's that close. I mean, it's been a great performance from both both fighters here. Just what 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 an outing! And uh, you know, no one looks like they've got the the room to switch it up. I don't know if they've got the time to. We're up to half a minute now, off the end of the round, and uh, it's down to scoring. I think maybe Bajinska might nick it in terms of volume, but. Uh, what an absolute outing this has been. Great performance. Still 20 seconds to go. The clock now counting down. Smajic backing off with that range and with that height advantage, but comes forward again. There's the 10 second clapper leading up to the end of the round. It really is gonna go to the wire here in terms of points. Every punch, every strike is gonna count. Uh, there's the bell and my goodness gracious me. You just have to stand up and respect that. Absolutely. What an absolutely brilliant performance from both players. You know what I love about this is like, there's a big difference between when 20 year olds fight and 30 year olds. When you're, when you're 20 year old, like you have, you have so much you want to prove to the world that you're the next in line, right? So you're willing to take risks and you're willing to take chances, you're going to push. In your 30s, you're, you know that, hey, I've already done all that. Now it's, hey, I need these wins, I need these wins. And I know that my career is slowly coming to an end, so I gotta be a little bit more safer because I can't take too much damage because I've already taken enough in my career. For the winner, by split decision, Sara Luza Wow! Smile.